Okay, now we're going to look at uh, combining solids together um, using the Rhino solids primitives to make a more complex shape. Um, and we'll do this through the Boolean operations. Um, first thing we need is we need some solids, and you can either get those up here um, or we can get them down here in our toolbar. If I hold down the um, uh, left mouse button, I get uh, all the different uh, options. And I'll just make a couple of these. They are all made, um, you know, they have different ways you can make them. Um, and you can, you know, choose the sphere centered radius and diameter. Um, and I'm sure you can figure those out um, on your own. All right. So I have the viewport um, set up to ghosted. Um, and this will allow us to see what's going on inside our shapes when two things are stuck together. So if I, you know, drag this in there, I can see um, through and see that it's overlapping and see what kind of surface is in there and, and that kind of stuff. So I've got some uh, shapes here. Um, move that out of the way and we'll move this out of the way. Don't, I'm not, I'm not going to use these um, ones right now. Um, so I am just going to hide these. If I go up here under the hide thing, I'm going to go that and hide all those so I, then I can just concentrate on, on, on these objects. Okay, so let's say that I want to stick these two things together. Um, and I want, I'm going to do that with Boolean. And we have all these options, union, different, intersection, split, Boolean two objects, create solids, and blah, 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 blah. We're only going to deal with the first few here. And probably the easiest way to get an idea of what's going on is by using this Boolean two objects. When I select that, it will perform a Boolean operation, and it will cycle through all of the different variables every time I left click. Oh, I have to select the two objects. So, and it's telling me to click through. Um, so this is a, a union. You can see it cut out the um, the inside part. So I click. This is um, the intersection. It's just giving me where the two parts intersect. This is a difference. It's subtracting the big one from the little one. And this is the difference the other way. It subtracted the little one from the big one. And then we go back to union. So if you're not 100% sure and you're just doing two objects, uh, this it, uh, can be a useful tool because you can just cycle through and you don't have to remember which name is which. Um, but So we're going to say we wanted that hit return and now I select this and we have you know a solid shape um, which I can explode and then I can pull that off and um, we have you know now it, it, we have two surfaces um, but we don't want to do that so I'll select these and join them back now we've got one surface. Now let's um, bring back these objects that um, we had. And uh, oh, let's try this let's again. Let's say that I want to join all of these three objects. One, two, three. Um, we can't do that Boolean two objects because I've got more than one object. So I can, here I have to know what I want. So I'm going to, from the last I knew um, that I wanted to union those. So I select them all, hit return, 
and there we go. I've got um, a solid, and you can see on the inside, I've got holes cut through, so um, it's one shape. Uh, and now let's uh, bring this guy back in. And um, I do a Boolean intersection. So I select one poly surface, hit return, select the next one, hit return, and there we go. It gives us the part that the two things intersect, which we don't really want. Um, so let's try doing um, a Boolean difference. I'm going to select my first, select the second, hit return, and there we get that lozenge shape taken out of my um, sphere or my surface that you know has all that funny stuff. Now, um, Oops, if I had done that the opposite way, uh, so I go back here, Boolean difference, I select the first object, hit return, second object, hit return, it does the opposite. It takes, it subtracts ding, the second object from the first object. Um, oops. Bring that guy back. Uh, but I don't want that because then I lose all this other stuff. So we'll go back and we'll do the Boolean difference again. First object, return. Second object, return. And it spits it out. OK. Um, And I, I won't use the box. Uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, a Boolean. Um, it seems like a really fast uh, way to work, uh, and it can be very powerful. Um, but you have to be a, a little careful because Rhino, while it looks great on the screen, it can um, there can be uh, real problems when we go to try to manufacture this. Uh, for what we're doing now, we're just doing a in the egg crate uh, from this. It's not going to matter, uh, but it, if we were trying to 3D print this or use this object to create tooling pass from, um, it's we could have problems because these edges might not be joined perfectly. Uh, you also get um, flipped normals often, so we can check that um, just for fun. If we select it all and type in dir for direction, and um, we can see that actually we are okay here. Um, all of those lines pointing out uh, mean that our normals are all facing out. It is easy to get them switched on the like inside planes here because we're taking the inside of one of the surfaces and turning it into the outside so um, that's easy it's an easy mistake to happen uh, but we seem okay alright so that is it for the boolean